welcome to Arkansas Yarn Cast. I'm Lori. I'm Anna. And I'm Jessica. And we're coming to you from Arkansas Yarn Company in Malvern, Arkansas. Which I got on the needles. Um, well, I got started on the Malabrigo Knit Along, the Temperance Shawl, on Thursday, um, on April 1st. And so these are, this is um, how far I've gotten so far. Now I've got several projects going on, so I just did the first four sections of the, the Knit Along so far. Which means you're ahead of the game. Well, yeah, because we have until Thir Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Um, to get to this point. Um, so I've got three colors in there, um, that purple, the minty green, and then a light gray. And it's coming along really nice. Um, it's pretty. It is. So she posted a picture of it and like several people asked about it and a person purchased uh, to do it. So we have a couple of people coming in doing it with Jessica. So if you're gonna be new to the uh, Knit Along, make sure that you click the link in our Instagram bio so you know where to go to sign up for everything. So we want you to be legit on the prizing, on the prizes. What, you got one? Uh, I do, I have not signed up yet. I just remembered that as you were speaking. How can you not sign up? I mean, it's like, <laughs> How can you not sign up? I don't know. I think I loaded the page and everything, but, you know. Squirrel. G yes. <laughs> Kitty. Easily distracted puppy? me. Puppy. <laughs> Mostly puppy. Mostly puppy. <laughs> um, okay, and here is mine in, like. You have. That's so cute. <laughs> first stage. Uh, first section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like your colors the way yeah. they're striking. Yeah, the colors look great together. I was going to work on this today while here at the yarn shop, but I left the next skein of yarn at home. Oh no! I was super tempted to just text my husband to say, Hey, um, when you get off work at four, <laughs> could can you, you bring this bring over? <laughs> so I also decided to work on it. Um, you know, I asked y'all if I should, if I should cast on for it or not. So I have it as well and I'm using black and Baco and fuchsia and I'm loving the way mine is working up. I really, really like mine. It's quite dramatic. And, um, people saw it and so uh there's a uh, some new people coming in they're just purchasing the kit right now they're just purchasing the kit so they can get started so if you're starting late click on our link in our bio and go over to all the malabrigo places um your dad saw this over the weekend and he's like that looks like a thong yeah a lot of people a lot of people been, are saying that a lot of people been saying that yeah the but smaller they are, I the think more they're, thong like it's looking. Mine is yeah, a mini thong. Yeah, yours is a mini thong. I think, yeah. they're, I think they're cute. Yeah, I think it's cute. I'm loving them. They're pretty. It's really pretty. I've enjoyed looking on Instagram to see. I might have some design element in mine. I don't know. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It blends. You won't. You can't tell. It's black. That's the beauty of knitting with black. You can't tell. Mm hmm well, now I want to, like, inspect what we're No, just no inspecting. <laughs> no, no inspecting. What else do y'all have going on? Um, so I have made some progress on my um, little test knit tank top, the Selkie tank. Um, that's coming along quite nicely. I'm really enjoying this yarn. It is knitting up so soft. So pretty, too. Um, and it's a beautiful color. Oh, it just pulled the skein right out with it. I love that color. Um, I'm actually I mean, gonna dye some more of that tomorrow, I think, because we got some new. Um, so this is from, uh, I mean, it's upside down at this point, but I've made quite a bit of progress. I've got about five and a half inches from the underarm. Um, so let me see if I can Get this turned around to where it looks like a tank top um like this kind of yeah Here, let me help you 
Yeah, can you hold the back up? There we go. That'll work. So it's gonna button in the front. Yeah, it's gonna have a button band in the front and it's gonna button down, but I have made quite a bit of progress, I think. I think so it's far. so beautiful and I love how soft this fabric is. Well, and it's great. And one of the things I really like, I'm sure I've mentioned this before for this pattern. Um, this is the Selkie Tank, S-E-L-K-I-E -E Tank um, from Dragon Horde Designs. And one of the things that I really like about this knit, as opposed to the last tank top that I knit from Tristan, is these straps. She designed these straps to be an I-cord. Um, so it is um, knit one, slip one with, the, with yarn in front, knit one, slip one with yarn in front, all the way around. Um, so it creates this tube which has a really just nice, stable, cushioned strap to it. And so flat. It's, it's not, and it's flat, so it's not going to curl in on itself. Mm -hmm. um, even if it gets stretched, it really doesn't curl in on itself. Well, and also, it's quite wide. Well, it's gonna, it is quite wide. I it love will, how wide it is. It will completely cover um, my bra strap, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, so, so pretty. So it, um, I'm really excited. It's a nice, nice shape. It's so pretty. It's going to be gorgeous when it's finished. It is. Um, and it has, it has like super nice detailing too, because mm -hmm. the, 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 the edging, I, the I cord continues along the edge and it, um, continues along the edge of the back as well. Um, so to join the two sides, you end up knitting an I-cord right here, and then you pick up stitches along the I-cord to knit down. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really very well thought out construction and mm -hmm. very different than anything that I've ever made. Um, was so pretty. Wise. Was that going to be a positive ease or um, zero? So it is designed to have zero to two inches of positive ease. Mm -hmm. um, so I am knitting it to where it's going to have about two and a half inches of positive ease. Um, but I def as people are, as other testers are finishing it, I am thinking I probably could have done the zero inches of positive ease and been fine. Yeah. I just, like my, I just like my stuff to have a little bit of room, a little bit of room. Yeah. and everything I've been knitting recently has had like 10 or more inches of positive ease on mm -hmm. it. Um, so it's, it's nice to be knitting something that's going to be a little more fitted because it's been a while since I've made a, mm -hmm. a little more fitted item. It's really pretty. It's really nice. I, I'm really excited to get it finished. Um, the deadline for the test knit is April 22nd, so I would assume that we would see the pattern release on the 23rd or 24th of April. That's generally about how Tristan does her, um, her test knits, is she, um, she'll release the pattern a day or two after the pattern, the, the tester deadline. Um, and so I am really excited to get that finished. It's really pretty. It's gonna be it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous when you're done with it. It's gonna be beautiful. And then the we're we're playing around with making um, resin buttons now. Um, mm -hmm. That way I can make my own buttons for this tank top. And I am making some bronze colored buttons to go with it that I am super excited about. It's a it's hard to find good buttons, so um, I bought a bunch of button resin molds, and, um, and Jessica and Anna have been making them, so that's something to look out for in the shop coming up. We're going to be having uh, resin buttons, but um, it'll be really cute to have. Actually, I think I have some at the other end of the table. Let me go grab the the bronze ones, and sure. I'll show y'all with the, the color. In the meantime, Anna, why don't you show everybody what you're knitting on, because you made a lot of progress. Yep, so I am closing in on finishing up the front 
part of the Bright Access tea. Wow, it's so beautiful, Anna. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. I love the neckline detail. I love on the neck. I do too. Yeah. So the the part that's it's actually so at pretty. the neck is right here. We'll we'll take and a picture. Then, mm -hmm. We'll block that and we'll take a picture and have Lucas put it in for us so you can get a closer look at what that looks like because it's gorgeous. We don't want y'all to miss it. So you blocked yours, didn't you? I did. I blocked mine, so I'll hold it up oh. to the camera yeah. when, when it's I show so it pretty. Here. So how's your sweater? I'm working on it. Um, I'm clearly not as far along as the girls are, but I I have already done my ribbing. I wanted quite a large uh, rib. I really like a large rib. And then I did a little um, new detail to me. I purled that row before I began the, the row after the ribbing before I started my stockinette so that uh, I could just have a no roll. It won't it won't flip up so that's kind of what i did um jessica doesn't like it I, but I, I don't care for um, the way that it looks personally i don't it it has a ridge to it and i don't it does but i think it's going to block out a little bit flatter and um i was just like um i'll try that that looks interesting and i think when you hold it out it when you hold it and you stretch it out a little bit, you can't really tell quite so much. So I think it's going to be super pretty. Is anybody ever, have y'all ever done this before? If so, leave me a message and let me know how you like it because uh, I, it's new to me. I've not ever done it before, but I wanted to try it out and see how it was going to go. So I haven't had a lot of time to knit. I did a lot of dyeing. And um, I cast on for the temperance shawl, and then I actually did most of this yesterday. And so um, I'm just trying to catch up with everyone on where we are with the projects. Mm -hmm. So um, I went and grabbed my buttons that I'm going to do for my tank top, and they are these cute little um, square bronze buttons. They've got a little bit of a beveled design to them. It's hard to see it, but I'll take a picture and have Lucas put it on there. Um, but look at how pretty they're going to look on this turquoise. Well, that color is almost the color of the Statue of Liberty. So having a copper or a bronze look, I think it's going to be really pretty. I think it will too. I'm, I'm really excited. It'll look to like have patina, it, I have think. It on here. And they'll stand out quite nicely, so it'll be a really nice um, design element, I think. I love those square-shaped buttons, too. They look very modern. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have also made some progress on the back of my sweater, um, of my Bright Axis. So this is about as far as I've gotten from side seam to side seam. It's um, so pretty. And then... I did block out the neckline, and you can really see the um, the design here where um, it's open because it's just flat where the seams are going to be placed. So she did this really nice little design element on the neckline. It's so pretty. I, I love how feminine pretty. it looks. I think it looks great. I need to get cranking on this so that I can catch up. I feel like I'm going to end up wanting to do another one. You like it that much? Mm -hmm. I think That's it's great. a beautiful sweater and seeing how it, um, the striping is coming along versus how we had it kind of pictured in our heads when we were choosing our colors mm -hmm. is really interesting and I think it'll allow us to be a little more adventurous yeah. with combinations um, yes. later on. I think it's so pretty. I'm I'm just in love with the way it looks. And also the whole like color changing thing just really makes the person want to keep going. It definitely is a motivator, I think. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I found when I was knitting Scott's Christmas socks. We did the cozy the cozy knitters advent socks and uh, I really enjoyed that because one, it's the first pair of socks I actually finished. It was also two at a time toe up and that was helpful and then I found and I started a week after you 
and I found that I wanted to keep going and so I actually finished those socks on the 24th I, it's it is a good motivator I think mm -hmm. a stripe you it just want to get through it and to the next color it's fun you do and having it change colors every like five or six rounds is very helpful I think um, because you you really get to get through several color changes right in a in a sitting it makes you feel like you got a lot accomplished i think that mm -hmm. i i really like it um do y'all have anything finished no no i i did not get a chance to finish um anything this time around um but everything that i've been finishing have been whips from last year right. or earlier so i have just been working on new things recently i finished something did you i did i finished my piglet look at my little piglet <laughs> so cute. look at his little tail he's so cute look at that he look. is cute i like his little eyes i mean his he is so precious <laughs> look at that are you naming him um, well, my heart wants to call him Wilbur, um, but I don't know, uh, I put wire, I put wire in his little tail, the pattern called for it to be a knot, but I kind of go rogue on things, and I really, kind of, I love it, it's, just, look how cute that is, I it's mean, cute. it is precious. So I finished my little pig. What I didn't do is I didn't have en I did not have enough time before the um, before the first to um, do the little sweater. So I am going to do the little sweater. But I think that maybe I have some um, some Zara ball left over from my botanic shawl, and so I'm thinking about knitting this sweater it's black and white and gray it's, it's gradients of black white and gray so i think i'm going to knit his little sweater in that and i think he'll look quite dapper in a little mm -hmm. black white and gray sweater Ooh. so um you should make him a bow tie too well possibly except i don't know we'll have to see maybe it's a girl well, so i don't, don't know well i know i don't i don't really have a name <laughs> i don't have a name but the face is look at that face mm -hmm. i mean the nose is so adorable and i really wanted to keep that shape so i put a nickel in here well and you know that was a very interesting um this was on. fun to do well and it was new you did the the circular it's cast a circular on. cast on you have to make a magic ring and i have not done that i have done that in crochet but i've not done it in knitting and so um it's it's hmm. It was unique, and and then you do a per, you do a couple of rounds of increasing, and then you she had us do a pearl row, which kept it right there. I I think it was very clever, and the feet were constructed the same way, so um, I I enjoyed this little test knit a lot, and I just want you to know, I mean, it is on sparkle yarn, and it is sparkly sparkly, and um, that yeah. yarn I dyed specifically for this mm -hmm. as a pig color and that yarn is called some pig it's not in the shop yet is it in the shop yet not yet um we have I to think, take pictures of it i think yeah i think once you get the feet and his ears sewn on oh yeah i don't have the ears on so it's oh. not a true fo but i do have the ears done i just need to stitch them That's on gonna be extra cute It'll so look. I think once you get all the the little pieces sewn on, then yes. we'll go ahead and and put the yarn in the system and send out the notification in yeah. the app. Yeah, we'll notify y'all in the app. And then put it on um, Instagram and and Facebook. Yeah. Did y'all know we have an app? Uh, if, so basically, what Jessica's talking about, if you're an app user, we let you know before anybody else knows that we have new stuff in the shop. Mm -hmm. We do have new stuff in the shop. Yeah, by the time the video comes out, we'll have um, some new things in the shop. Well, we have new things in the shop right now. Well, yeah, we do. We've got the We do. The you want to show? Um, so we got in these Birdling Backpacker bags. These bags are so absolutely amazing. I love them. So it's got the backpack straps on the back. 
Um, and then it's got a zipper pocket in the front and it's got a zipper top to it with a little padded um, sleeve in here and it's got some pockets on the inside. It holds quite a bit. I can get three project bags in here. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been using this as my project bag, project bag bag. Project bag so, backpack. Right, so I had uh, 11 skeins of yarn and then some cords and I stood them all uh, longwise in there and there was still a ton of room well and i've got my interchangeable set in in it yeah. and i've got um my little uh knitter's toolkit in it this is mine i think i haven't actually claimed one yet because she's been I'm having a hard time deciding so hard color. to <laughs> choose i'm i'm having a hard time choosing i do like this it's called charcoal and i really love it but i'm i'm torn it's huge i wish y'all could see we'll, just we'll, how big this is but it's big we'll put on the um the picture you took of all the, yeah. the yarn in the bag that I'm, way i'm just really a... torn on colors it's i mean all the colors are so good anna has and they're really picked, great they're very earth toned they're very yeah. natural um, looking natural looking colors um, so Anna has like a slate gray. What I love is turn it around. <laughs> Look how absolutely gorgeous how it flares out. And Jessica has this great big green water bottle that fits in there. My 20 ounce Yeti fits in there. Jessica, Anna's got her keys in there. Oh yeah, y'all, here's her mace. Here's my hairbrush. <laughs> I occasionally use that. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> We are loving them. I will tell you that they sold so quickly. I am so shocked about how fast they sold yeah, out. Yeah, we got several it of was... them in, and they we had over half of them gone within five hours. Yeah, within With, forty-eight yeah. hours. Actually, thirty-six because at day two I ordered more, mm -hmm. and and I'm not saying we got one or two of every color. We actually got seven of every color. So. We, plus the three that we thought we wanted. So I ordered 39 in, and the very next morning, I ordered more. Mm -hmm. I mean, After because they sold in. so quickly, and I want to make sure that we have enough for everybody. So I ordered more. The That moss green that Jessica has is sold out. And tomorrow, I think um, we should be getting, we have another shipment arriving this week. So, um, um, well, by the time this video comes out, though, they might be sold out again. <laughs> I hope not. There's more plum coming. The plum sold out immediately. It was gorgeous. It's actually kind of a raisin color, but I'm really in love with the, with, it's called Dusty Rose, but it looks kind of like coral to me. So it's a dusty mm -hmm. coral. It's so pretty. I'm sort of liking that, but I wear a lot of pink and I think it would clash. So I'm not entirely sure what color to get. I don't know what color to get. <laughs> um, but yeah, if if you want uh, notifications of things that are new in the mm -hmm. shop, you should watch our Wool on Wednesdays totally. because we always give the the latest update on Wool on Wednesday. Every single thing that's brand new uh, goes on Wool on Wednesday, and then uh, and then we send a notification on the app as well. Mm -hmm. So. Um, if you want to stay in the know. Also, the app users, they're the first people to get updates on any events that we have going on. They're the first people to get updated on uh, discount codes or free shipping for a flash free shipping day. Uh, those are, those are uh, rewards that we give only to our users. So anyway, what else we have going on? I really don't you don't i don't think i do i've got um i've just been working on that sweater which i'm feeling very pleased about you've made a lot of progress Lots. on that mm -hmm. in um well it's been what i guess probably four or five weeks now that you've been working on that yeah I have no idea. The I thing is four, I don't like just... even work on I don't there are days that I don't actually knit anything at all. I sometimes have days like that too because 
uh, mostly on a dying day. I mm -hmm. have that because I'm just, I'm tired. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on my body. So, um, like I've been dying all day long today and, uh, guess what I died? Well, they know what I died, but guess what I died? I died. What's the name of it, Jess? Um, this is, this is my very favorite. Yeah. So the name is y'all. This is my very favorite. So it is a gorgeous, it is so, it is so pretty. It truly is my favorite because it's a um, representation of the three of us. So it's a very, uh, very light sky blue overall skein. And then I put pink and green heavy speckles. And then I put very, very light, delicate blue speckles because Anna is everywhere in this store. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. She, uh, y'all, I'm not even joking when I say this, but what Anna does, the first thing she does when she walks in the door, she puts her stuff down. Every day. <laughs> and then she walks all the way around the store to make sure that I've not moved anything. That, that she moved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's the truth. I'm honestly surprised that you didn't move um, that Stephen West shawl, the pink one. I actually like it where it's at. It seemed to fit yeah. color-wise. So, yeah. So, sometimes, like today, Anna redid the chalkboard. And <laughs> see this little purple gnome right here? She made him brown. <laughs> it made me laugh. And, yeah, because my Hard. face, she's like, oh, She's standing in front of it, so I can't see it. And then she very slightly turns, and it's brown. And I was like, well, and... Why would you make a numb brown? So, I was trying to hide it, like, with my dress and everything. And then when she would look down, I'd start to move away. Yeah. And then at one point, she's like, why do you have brown chalk in your hand? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I did forget to hide that part. And she was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it looked awful. But it was so it awful. It was it was very poopy. <laughs> like it was super fun for me. Though. I did not like it, but she did that. You, that was a prank. Yes, you weren't. You were gonna leave it. There was no chance that was getting left. No, out. there was no chance because yeah. <laughs> You're like, I do not like. I do not like brown. Sometimes my squirrely mode is just. It was squirrely. Really... It was so squirrely. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then she did this, and Jessica's like, I don't really know how I feel about that. I, I don't think that I care for it. But isn't the board adorable? It's raining yarn, and there's yarn in raindrops, which I think is so cool. And it's raining gnomes. It's raining gnomes. I think it's precious. I love the umbrella. <laughs> I, love I love the it. gnome catching the yarn. Yeah, but he caught, he caught a piece. It's so cute. It would be cuter if he hit it in his tongue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't ever see their faces. You don't. I was really tempted to draw some eyeballs on that one. He's really cute. You did a good job. With his big schnoz. You did it. You did a good job. So, mm -hmm. huh, what else do you want to talk about? Well, we don't really have any. I have something. What do you have? I got a new bed. Yeah. I got I got a new bed. It's I've had it a week now. And in the store, it was super plush and yummy and soft and snuggly and like I could laying hardly, on a bed of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> like I like it would be. Yes. It was it, I got it last Monday and and I'm thinking and it's and it is not tempur -Pedic, but there is a company, a family-owned company here in in our area and they had been making beds for a long long time and I shopped local and I thought that I thought that it was gonna be just like the perfect bed I thought it was gonna be the perfect bed it's hard it's so hard and then I thought it was just me and then at Easter, we're having, a, and also my mother-in-law got a new bed. She got the exact same bed I got. And so they went, they went shopping together. We did. 
and they ordered the exact same yeah mattress. so i say i want this bed and my mother-in-law says i'll take what she's getting mm -hmm. so which is great and it's a great compliment and i really i love that i loved the bed in the store but the bed i got is harder and so i need to i'm gonna call the company and so apparently at easter we have this whole discussion about the beds. It was a big discussion about the beds. My father-in-law doesn't like his bed. Well, he doesn't he's like, like he doesn't like the memory foam because it cradles you. And it does. Then he he says it makes it difficult to roll over. So he can't turn. Yeah. So he can't turn over, and it was it was hilarious. I mean, like the whole thing, the whole conversation was just. Was so hilarious. And is yours like comical? That, like you can't roll over. Mine is not. Mine is hard. I well, and that's mine is that's, not as soft as theirs. And so he was complaining, and so his com like his complaint, his joking around complaining, brought up had my dad bring up the fact that he doesn't like your new mattress because yeah. it's hard. And he's like, I've been just trying to go with it. <laughs> and, and and also his knee is hurting so oh. he hasn't been sleeping really well because his knee hurts and so he thought it's not really fair for me to blame the bed when it's when I also have another issue so he's mm -hmm. like I'm just trying to go with it and I'm thinking it's gonna like does it happen but do they loosen up I mean it's well, firm it's firmer than it was in the store so then after like he said that he didn't like the bed and you're like well it isn't as soft as the one it's was not... in the store and then y'all were talking to, to Mimi and Grandpa and you were like well is your bed soft like does it feel the well, same way they start talking about how theirs is too soft yeah well hmm. then they want to swap beds with me and I'm like no well and then no we're not swapping beds well and then y'all went and sat on their bed her bed is softer than mine it's it's so, and totally exactly softer the same. exact same they're brand so, exact same model exact same size hmm. theirs is substantially softer than mine mine is hard and i mean hard but it's supposed to be the same yeah yeah so she wants to swap with me and i'm like no i'm just gonna call i'm just gonna call the company and she's like well, why wouldn't you just swap? And I'm like, because I don't want to sleep in your bed. And she's like, well, then how do you sleep in a hotel bed? You don't. Of all those people that sleep in those beds, how do you sleep in that bed? And Jessica goes, she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I she, cannot. She will not sleep well in a hotel room. I do not because I feel like bugs are crawling all over me. I, I just like being at my own home. <laughs> I just... <laughs> You know, because there's bed bugs at hotels, and well, there's it's making bed, me itch talking about it. <laughs> there's bed bugs in more than hotels. All right, here's what I want to oh, know. Should we no, go into that? <laughs> there are bed bugs <laughs> at other places, but let me say this, y'all: Can you sleep well in a hotel? Do you sleep good in a hotel bed? Do you go there and it's relaxing, or are you like my neck hurts because I don't have my pillow? And you gotta touch your finger on the glass to make sure it's a it's a real mirror. And I mean, like, have what? you seen all the shows on? Have you seen all the shows about the bad things of hotels? Oh my goodness! If there's like a two way mirror, I'm just I feel sorry for the people saying. watching. <laughs> Jokes on you, buddy. Do y'all have that kind of problem? I mean, like, do y'all have that kind of problem? So I'm thinking I'm a freak show. You are. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard it's really hard i really like uh the the places i stay i'll sometimes have a king size bed feather pillow yes but yeah. why <laughs> so, <laughs> because i'm a darling you're a darling precious girl <laughs> <laughs> whose bed is that it's okay so um, my dad has points and, um, like a, a lot of points. He's had to travel a ton yeah, for work. He does. And so like, if I am going out of town to visit family or whatever, then I often get to stay, 
uh, at the hotel with his points and he has in the computer system since he's like a world traveler, traveler. Yeah. then they have in the computer system okay he's going to want to be you know on this floor on not the, by the elevator yeah, and not then, by the ice machine um, an extra blanket and feather pillows and so that's what I end up with and I'm like well I do like my feather pillows I don't want to be without mm -hmm. that so like when I travel and stay at hotels uh, with dad's points I don't have to travel with my own feather pillow yeah that's nice which I often I do that I attach that to my Osprey luggage since that hard on there. to travel and not have your pillow mm -hmm. I will tell you that when I went to Anguilla that hotel was like the best hotel it was just it was the four seasons and it was lovely and I actually had a very peaceful relaxing week sleeping on their bed their pillows were lovely their sheets were lovely hmm. that it just so you're okay as long as it's not a cheap hotel yeah I don't really <laughs> I do that cheap hotel thing there was um, when Jesse and I had traveled to go to a, a job interview for him um, we stayed in it was it was a small town and they had not a lot of options at all I think it was a Motel 6 they kept the line on for you yes <laughs> and it was I mean it was kind of like dated run down a little but everything was so nice and clean mm -hmm. every person that worked there was just super nice and uh, I was like wow I'd, I'd stay there again here, here's why I'm the way I am. So when my in-laws were moving, we stayed at a hotel and all the doors faced out. Yeah, you don't like all, that to begin with. All the doors faced outside, outside the parking lot. I like a hotel where all the doors face okay. into mm -hmm. the building, into a hallway. Yeah. Because it's like, two or three o'clock in the morning and I like to sleep on the right side of the bed and my husband sleeps on the left side of the bed the left side of the bed happened to be further away from the door he leapt over me to the door because someone was trying to come in our room and that's that was like done I cannot yeah but to be fair that could have also happened on the inside facing hotel as well it could have but it didn't it happened in that kind so. and so I'm like yeah over that not I just am not I don't like that kind of thing I just don't like that kind of thing now so I tend to well have some um, criteria Lucas and I are gonna go on vacation in May and we are currently looking to see if we can't get uh, an Airbnb hey are you gonna stay in that tiny house a B and B so there we're gonna go to Branson um, and we're not entirely certain what we're gonna do in Branson so if you want to let us know things that are fun to do in yeah. the comments below that would be great yeah have y'all been to Branson um, we're gonna go to Branson Missouri and we are looking at doing things um we're looking at doing maybe an airbnb um in in branson and there's one that was a little tiny house and so the airbnbs i feel like you get a better value um you they end up being very close in price to like a hotel mm -hmm. but you end up usually it looks like you end up getting like a whole condo to oh, yourself they're or a way whole, nice. like i like them you get like a little kitchenette in most places and there's like queen size beds or mm -hmm. king size beds and i feel like it's almost um like staying in a in in a guest house it is um as opposed to staying in like it a is. hotel there's this show that i've been watching on netflix and it's called stay here and mm. they're taking airbnbs and they're going in and they're remodeling them and helping them with their uh, marketing plan i am addicted to it i'm hoping there's quite a number of seasons it's so they're totally upping their game I think they because they're trying that. to attack attract us Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So, okay, I know that there's a difference between hotel and motel, but I can never remember which one goes to which one. Oh, I know which one goes to which one. Yeah, I do too. I, so I can't, I don't know why. So a hotel is usually a large enclosed building with hundreds of rooms across multiple floors, while a motel has one or two floors with outdoor With rooms. an outside entrance. So, so how do you I'm not doing that? a mo it has outside. Mo rhymes with no. <laughs> That's how. But, uh, <laughs> but so does no, we're not talking about home. <laughs> <laughs> no. I I don't know. I don't think that's gonna. I'll I think it goes motor just... on, <laughs> motel. Move, move on. Move on. Moving yeah. on. Yeah. Speaking about moving on, am I the only one that like can't reach the floor? Like I just sit here swinging my feet. So that shuffling sound y'all hear? That's her feet. <laughs> yes. She, so you have little legs because these are I... kind of remotely yeah. low. I I have short legs. I have the same length of torso as my sister, who is like four something inches taller. <laughs> and then I've got short stubby legs. Well, she wears dresses all the time, so you don't see that. Yeah. That's one of the reasons. Oh, is that <laughs> I like to wear dresses. So somebody, when I was in high school, um, I went to boarding school. And I had to, um, I was cleaning the windows. I was the janitor at the dorm. And um, so as I was reaching up, wiping down the windows and stuff, this girl is sitting on the sofa and she says, you look like a frog. <laughs> Those like, are mean. Th thanks. That's not nice. Um, I mean. <laughs> well, here's what I have to say about that. Karma, that girl has some karma coming to her. <laughs> well, I, it may have already passed. passed. Yeah. So yeah, something bad happened to her. When you say mean things, karma takes care of it. It's just like, I had never thought about that, but thank you for bringing that to my attention. <laughs> that's not nice. I don't like that kind of, that's not nice. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite experience. I'm either. sorry that happened. We would never say that to you. That's good. <laughs> That's not nice. Maybe Lucas will pop a frog. Maybe Lucas will pop a frog. But now it's like I all the time I just sit in pretty much all chairs just swinging my legs. Aww. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna hide behind your mug now now do y'all see why we love her so much i'm serious it is like non-stop laughing every time she's all the time she's here so it's much like information that is just completely not well friends share friends <laughs> share information that's what we do right you share you share those things with your mm -hmm. girlfriends y'all share something with us mm. preferably something like along the lines of Mean girl. Share a mean girl comment. Yeah, maybe not a mean girl mean, comment. Not, no, just, like, don't be mean to Anna, mean girl. But have you had a mean girl experience? Yet. If so, if you want to share it with us, we'll be happy to listen in and commiserate with you because that's not nice. We, we have these t-shirts here, and it's kind of our store motto. It's At least it definitely is in mine. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. And that's how, that's how I feel. I don't like people being mean to people. I have a mug, which I love mugs. I've been banned from getting more mugs, but. <laughs> they come here now. <laughs> so um, it has a little bee on it. Yes, I know. I love that one. Be kind or something. Be kind. And then it's got like a honeycomb pattern. It's really, I would totally take it, except the little handle that you put your fingers in. It's little. Is about that's you can't even put two fingers in it very much. I so. have a mug that um, is seriously about like that much for the handle. Yeah, I don't really like that. I like my whole hand to go in like those like those COVID mugs we have. Mm -hmm. I love how you can put your almost four fingers in and snuggle. Well, so I really like, like that. The Polly's mugs are shaped very well. It's, they are. It's probably one of my favorites. 
Um, my absolute favorite mug is at home and it is a Rock City mug from Chattanooga and it's narrow on top and then as it comes down it widens and then it widens and then kind of goes flat on the kind bottom. Kind of a cauldron like? Yes. That'd be like that most um, awesome soup mug. Well, it's my hot toddy mug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and so it's it's bigger than our Polly's mugs. I think yeah, it's like, it is. I think it's like a 30 ounce mug. Yes. That's quite the hot wow. toddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you only need one when they're that big. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going to say. You only need one, but I love a hot toddy if I'm not feeling well. I make a hot toddy. Well, and so one day Anna's like, was it no, it wasn't you. Sorry. <laughs> one of our one of our friends who comes into the yarn store, she says, So how do you make your hot toddy? I'm like, well, and Jessica's like, it's an art. So you have to fill it up so much with hot water, and then you have a certain ratio of your whiskey. And then you have to do, a, I I have a ratio, I know so, it based on the mug. Yes, I have mine based yeah. on the mug. I've got a certain point in my mug that I fill with water and then yes. I microwave it yes. for two minutes to make sure it's hot enough. Do you not have a tea kettle? I use a tea kettle. Well, I don't have a tea kettle. Oh. I microwave it. Okay. It's easier than boiling the water on the stove. Yeah, mine's electric, so you just press mm. the little thing and... Yeah. And it, yeah, I might have to get you one for Christmas. They're well, awesome. Um, and then I put in two capfuls of lemon juice. Um, I only do one. Well, I have a big mug. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't do the lemon juice first. I do my honey first. I take yeah, because you gotta. I take a, a whole like spoonful. Of honey the giant ones it has to be I use no the giant I just spoons. I use a regular sized spoon and I get a spoonful of honey and I dip it in the water and I stir until it's all dissolved yeah. in the in the hot water and then I do my two capfuls of lemon juice and then I top it off with um, my liquor of choice yeah what do you use I use because um, I'm specific on my hot toddy whiskey. I am too I've done several different things um, my favorite is the wild turkey honey american honey the wild turkey american honey bourbon um although i have there is a local moonshine distillery in hot springs um, that makes flavored moonshines and i have a lemonade moonshine oh you're that doing I a will use you're instead doing a moonshine of, hot toddy Mm -hmm. and I usually just do bourbon. So if um, what I'll do if I'm going to use the lemonade is I will eliminate the, the lemon, lemon juice, mm -hmm. um, or I won't put as much in. Right. Um, and I'll mix that up. So I am a Maker's Mark. I I don't drink Maker's Mark in in any other way but a hot toddy. So our friend. I so I gave my friend my mock up recipe on how I do my hot toddies. And she's like, I was, and I'm like, why do you ask? Are you going to make a hot toddy? She's like, no, my grandma makes hot toddies. And she fills up with whiskey and then adds a little bit of water. So that's too strong. <laughs> so I thought it was kind of funny. I thought it was very funny. Because now, see, when I've been sick in the past, I have asked Lucas to make me a hot toddy. And he goes in and he had, like, he'll say, well, how do you make it? And I say, well, I do. I fell to this point on my mug. And he's like, no, I need, like, measurements. Yeah, he's, he's he likes to be exact. He likes to mix drinks to an exact recipe. Yeah. I which I think is, with it. I think is great for some things, but other things yeah. it's not necessary. Like, like it's you really have to have that if you're having a Long Island Long Island iced tea because if you don't get them exactly, you it tastes like pencil. Oh. So it's you definitely want to have it exact. You do, but th I thought it was funny. I I like to have a hot toddy if I don't feel well. It well, does make me sleep better, and it does clear up. Like usually, it's in my chest or my throat. It kind of clears it up. Well, maybe it's mental. <laughs> I don't know. It does well the lemon the lemon juice and the honey. The lemon, yeah. The, the lemon, lemon juice and the, and the honey are are generally a proven thing if you're not feeling well. Um, 
and then the alcohol to raise your blood temperature to help fight it. Um, in the water so you're hydrated. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but... I don't know. I forget what I was, forgot what I was going to say. I don't know, but I'll tell you this. When you started talking about a spoonful of honey... I started singing in Make my head. Makes the medicine go down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what, what I was going to say is I enjoy having a hot toddy when it gets cold. Sometimes I like, that's a good way to warm up. I like having a warm adult beverage when it's cold outside. Yeah. It doesn't I do I do too. Here. Well, it, it did. Does. It did oh. over, Fourth of July, over did Valentine's Day the... weekend. It was so cold. I had a hot toddy also because my house went go over 50 degrees it's mm. so cold i yeah. did that to warm up before i went to bed but yeah so uh we're up to 109 subscribers well that's exciting yes we had lots of comments on the last podcast and i really just cannot tell y'all how much we appreciate that that you take the time to give us a message mm -hmm. that's so sweet we enjoy we look forward to it. You know how um, every time we get a sale, we do a happy dance. Also, when we do a comment, we're like, we got a comment. So we love it. I love it. It's true. Yeah. So that means we have 109 people that are potentially eligible to win our giveaway every uh, month. 100, I don't know. Wait, so I'm one of the subscribers. Can I? No. Oh. I think I may also be one of the subscribers. So, 107. 107 people that are eligible to potentially win. You're already winning because you're Hashtag. here. <laughs> Hashtag winning. Hashtag winning. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I think it's great. We're, it's so nice that we're growing and we just love spending our time with you and we really appreciate that you're spending time with us. Mm -hmm. So, what are we giving away for April? So I said, Jessica says, what are we giving away for April? And uh, next thing I know, she comes over with this matching set. So Cindy Orton won the last one. So this one is coming with tea and a matching mug. So we'll be giving this away. And this is uh, Tummy Tea. It's mm. Tummy TLC. And it is a minty tea. It's a minty tea with some chamomile, star anise, lemon balm, and um, it should help get rid of uh, any stomach pain that you have or stomach upset. And um, it's going to give you li tender, loving care for your tummy. Well, that's so, kind of a fun follow-up to the uh, warm. Toddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's it's a um, herbal tea, so it's caffeine free. Yes. Um, so you can have this at night before going to bed um, to help you warm up if you need to. Well, then um, it does work because I have had an upset stomach, and I have I have this tea also, and uh, it really does work. And I don't know exactly what it is, but. It does make you feel better. Mm -hmm. I like how it's coordinated. It's soothing. That. Yes. I know. I love well, that it's coordinated. And also. the greens are really pretty. It's a really pretty. This tea is so yummy. We love this brand. And we love that we have the matching mugs. I think Yeah. So we'll have Lucas put a, a, a really nice detailed picture of the mug yes. and the tea. Um, what do we want them to do um, to... Um, potentially win hmm. yeah did we really I don't think we've talked that. about that <laughs> um do we want hmm well I don't know that we can really um say anything like sharing to Instagram or hashtagging because not everyone is on there yeah um, I think why don't you um let's see well, I will say this. I totally enjoyed all the people who sent pictures of their whips. Mm -hmm. I really loved that. So Ooh, why don't what, we... What if we have them share with us their um, either their favorite pattern they've ever done or something that they would definitely make again? A remake? A remake. Yeah. What, 
would you, what pattern have you made that you definitely will or have remade again? Yes. So do you guys have an answer to that? I do. Um, I don't think I've ever made anything really? more than once. And I don't mean it like, we. I think we don't think mean only... vanilla socks. I mean, because we all would knit vanilla socks again, but I have two patterns that I absolutely would knit again. And the one is the Botanic Shawl from Stephen West. I enjoyed that very, very much. And the I other one, fun. yes. And the other one that I would knit again is Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. Well, and you've I made, loved that. You've made those, um, the leaves gloves I multiple have, times. I have made the leaves fingerless gloves. I made them a you lot made, of times. Like, you made like 10 pairs of those, and haven't then you? I did. And then I also made the fetching gloves, which the fetching fetching gloves was originally a pattern from 2009 from uh, Knitty.com. I made 13 pairs that, some, that uh, Christmas for all of my nieces. And I loved that pattern, fetching the fetching gloves. It was a really great pattern. I mm -hmm. loved it. And then I did that finger, the leaves fingerless mm -hmm. gloves as well. I would totally do those. I will do them all the time. I love them so much. Well, and you've done several sock head hats. You've got several hat patterns that you just absolutely I do. love as well. One of my favorite hat patterns is uh, the Liana hat by Hypnotic Yarn. Cheryl Ham from Hypnotic Yarn. Uh, that is an excellent pattern. It's it's one of my go-tos. I love it so much. Hmm. Do you have to, do you have one you like? So I I have one that I've actually been thinking about doing again, um, and that and I've done about I think four of them already. But the color affection shawl. Uh -huh. Oh, and you get that little bolero sweater a couple mm -hmm. times too that I love. Yeah, the color affection one I think was number one on Ravelry for quite a while, a few years back. Um, and it, it's it's all garter yeah. stitch, uh, but just how she uh, puts the colors in is just so fun and there's just an endless amount of options. Right. So that one, I've actually, I've really been thinking about doing that one again. And then the Lefty Shawl, which I think someone was in this she week. She did. Um, and she, she bought the Zabra Ball to do it with yeah. on white, white yarn and Zabra Ball. Yeah. It's really pretty. I've done, I've done a few of those. Um, it's cute. And gifted all of them. So yes. I don't even have one. Oh. Um, I did, um, have plans to make another rocket tea, uh -huh. uh, last year. I was, I made one in the spring and then in bright colors and then we dyed up some more moody tones mm -hmm. um, for me to make again last fall and it kind of fell short on my list. Um, but I would definitely make the rocket tee again. Mm -hmm. Was that the mohair one? Mm -hmm. It is mohair. It's, it's a v-neck with the there. mohair stripes. Yeah, I think I put that mm -hmm. one out for display. You did. Um, so we'll we'll have Lucas put pictures of all of those that was, while we're talking. That was a them. cute one. Um, mm -hmm. so that way y'all can see what we're talking about. Um, but yeah, let to, to be entered to win for April's giveaway, um, tell us about a pattern that you have remade or you would definitely make again. Yeah, and bonus points if you link the pattern. <laughs> or at least tell us the designer, that yeah, way we yeah. can look it up. Yeah. That'd be great if you would do fun. that. It's always nice to like get a good pattern. Well, I really suggestion. loved the show and tell aspect of it. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun to see what you're what y'all are making. Yes. We feel, love that. Feel free to, to send us um, pictures of, of your projects. Um, anytime. Anytime. ArkansasYarnCo.com uh, at gmail.com. Gmail gmail ArkansasYarnCo at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you want to send us pictures of your whips every episode, mm -hmm. um, we will put it in at the end. We'll have Lucas do a little slideshow at yes. the end of everyone's projects and their whips. Yes, we I think loved that. that. Would, I think that would be fun. It is fun. 
It so, absolutely is fun. One more thing. One more thing. I feel like um, I've been wearing a hat. It is the white elephant in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I, I got just positioned like, right. If you just keep your head just like that, <laughs> she has a gnome hat on. <laughs> or a, a dunce hat. I, no, it's a gnome hat. I think I'm going to maybe move that one <laughs> for, the next, <laughs> for the next podcast. Yeah. I think it's cute. <laughs> I like it. You should decorate it. Like, there should be, like, a little tassel up there. Oh, I and... could do that. Like, give myself a really fetching hat. I mean, you should. It's fetching. <laughs> fetching hat. Yes. Or what you should do is put a little slamming door right there. <laughs> Jessa, you could understand that reference if you just watched. Yeah. Eurovision. That's okay. I don't need to watch Eurovision. Oh. But I did enjoy everyone, everyone's response to stupid humor. <laughs> I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Thank y'all. I'm all. glad there's so many people on my side with that. <laughs> Everybody was on Jessica's side. I mean, like, totally. It's like totally Team Jessa around here. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Because I'm the mm. favorite. Everybody loves Jessa. Yeah, that's probably they true. They do. They love her. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all notice on the last podcast that Lucas put Yelp up here? I thought it was funny. So I actually was watching it with Scott and uh, and I'm like, wait, back up. <laughs> and so it was funny. That um, cracked me up. Yeah. Anywho, well, so um, message us, email us, like us, subscribe to us. Thumbs up with us. <laughs> yes. And share us. Please share us so that we can grow. Yeah. And, and please give me Branson suggestions in the comments yeah. because Lucas and I are kind of at a loss for what we're going to be doing in Branson. Well, you don't have a lot of days, too. We don't. So we want to do the best things. Yes. We only, we're going to take. We're going to go down on Sunday, and we're going to come back either uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday night. So you're going to have to shop with me while Jessica's gone because I'm going to be all by myself and lonely. Well, Anna will probably come. Well, she's going to be taking care of my dogs. <laughs> yeah. So. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. You get Fresh some good doggy snuddles. Snuggles. <laughs> I get snuggles. usually naughty doggy snuggles. <laughs> yeah. Je Jessica's dogs think Anna is like, they go potty and then they come in and like, give us a treat. <laughs> and that, that's not how it goes. But it is when Anna's there. Yeah. I had message being like, uh, am I supposed to give them something now? And she didn't message back quickly enough. So they got so something So she then. did. And then and they're like, this one doesn't know. Let's do it again. So, yeah. They're spoiled dogs. They're spoiled dogs. We and, all have spoiled dogs. And Anna loves to spoil dogs. <laughs> I do. They're so I cute. I mean, how can you not? They're so cute. My dog is my dog is a diva dog. Princess. Yeah, she is. I always tell Lucas that the dogs know who the sucker is. It's Lucas. It, yet yeah, Lucas is the sucker. He's a sucker for a dog. The the look they give him, mm -hmm. he falls for it every time. He does. He He's does. so cute. And so also, does Anna. <laughs> also, Lucas loves it when we say his name on, on, on the podcast. So, hi, Lucas. Hi, hi Lucas. Lucas. Yes, continue to say hi to Lucas in the comments yes. because yes. he does not look at them. And he really enjoys it when I tell him how many people said hi to Lucas. They do. Mm -hmm. he, I think that's so sweet. He does a good job for us. We love it. So, thank you again, Lucas. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so shall we visit you guys again in two weeks? Yes, we will be back in two weeks. Thanks yep. for joining us Thanks today. Thanks for joining us. We really enjoyed y'all hanging out with yes, us. Yes, we did. Love it, love it. Bye. Bye, y'all.